Sono Stefano Gallo. I'm Stefano Gallo, chef of the La Barrique restaurant in Turin. On the spring day I'm going to present several recipes from our kitchen, both mine and my colleagues. Now we are going to prepare some egg pasta tortelli stuffed with chickpeas and accompanied by red Sicilian crayfish in a tarragon pesto sauce. Here we have the pasta and we have the filling which we made simply by blending some chickpeas together with some extra virgin olive oil and a drop of the water we cooked them in. We have some red Sicilian crayfish which we previously cut in half and then we have a tarragon pesto which is very easy to make just blend the tarragon together with some parsley some pine nuts and some extra virgin olive oil white flour and rice flour we use the white flour to make the dough for the pasta and the rice flour when we are actually making the single pieces of pasta because it won't stick the dough and when we cook the pasta it leaves it clean now let's make the pasta. We have made this classic egg pasta dough using white flour and eggs. Mostly I use the egg yolks and very little egg whites. Now we'll uh, send the pasta into the sides that we want. With this instrument, we can obtain squares of the same size. Now, mm, brush the dough lightly with some egg whites mixed together with cold water and salt. Now we'll place the filling that we made by blending Mexican chickpeas which are larger and softer than Italian which we'll use at the end to decorate our plate. Now we have uh, already traced out our pasta and with a pizza cutter we'll go over the lines that we previously traced down and cut the dough. The pasta needs to be made uh, relatively quickly and in a room without drafts because the dough dries out very easily and if it does it could crack later and the filling will out during cooking. Now let's fold them, making sure that no air pockets remain. Now with another cookie cutter, we cut them in a half moon shape and then close them by pressing lightly on the edges with our fingers. And then again with the cookie cutter. Place them on a platter with some wax paper and the rice flour. When you make pasta it's important when using a delicate legume like chickpeas, red crayfish or raw fish and tarragon pesto that it's fresh. And uh, it's also important that the pasta is very thin. Now we can cook the pasta as you normally would uh, in salted water. This kind of pasta should be cooked only for a couple of minutes. As soon as uh, the edges of the pasta become soft, it means that the pasta is done. While it cooks, we need to heat the chickpeas. To finish the plate, we have prepared the chickpeas from a Spello in Umbria which are much smaller than the ones we used for the filling and which have a different taste and uh, are crunchier. I'm going to heat them with a touch of uh, olive oil 
and a little bit of uh, vegetable broth. When the pasta is done, place it uh, in a container with uh, some extra virgin olive oil. Now the pasta is done. Let's uh, drain it and put it in this container. Mix it gently so that the olive oil covers the pasta and gives it flavor. Before serving the dish, we need to season the crayfish with some molten salt. Molden salt is a special salt that remains on the rocks during high tides. We'll use five crayfish for this dish. I've cut them in half and now I'll place them on the plate as a base to which we'll add the raviolis. Let's place five raviolis, one on top of each crayfish. And then we'll place the same number on the plate and we'll place a crayfish on top of each one of these. The crayfish are raw and we need to make sure that they are served at a temperature that's not too low. We usually keep them near the heat lamp that we use to keep dishes warm, but place it away from the heat source so that they are just slightly warmer than uh, room temperature. Okay, now let's decorate the plate with our chickpeas from Spello. And we'll finish it off with the tarragon pesto. Just add a little bit because tarragon has a strong taste. As a final touch, add some sea salt and this powder that we got by drying out the crayfish shell we use for cooking and blending them. The touch of oil and the dish is done. Buon appetito!